As people continue to march in the streets of downtown Grand Rapids, many are wondering how does our community heal and what can be done to prevent another tragedy like this one. 13 on your side's Joshua Vinson joins us live from downtown. Josh, you spoke with Kent County Commissioner Robert Womack about this. What did he have to say? Jay Meredith, he said simply he wants to see two things, justice and accountability. He said that is the only way this city of Grand Rapids will heal from this devastating tragedy. Since the deadly police shooting videos were released on Wednesday, many people took to the streets, allowing their voices to be heard. On Thursday at an emotional press conference, we saw and heard from Leola's parents as they cried, talking about their firstborn son. Now many are wondering, where do we go from here in Grand Rapids and how do this community heals? Womack says it starts with charges being filed against the officer who shot and killed Patrick. The next thing is to wait for Kent County prosecutor to see if he uh, brings charges and if not, we will continue on to the attorney general, to the federal level and to the Department of Justice. We will not let this go. Additionally, Womack says he wants to hear from Chief Eric Winstrom. He wants him to call out the officer that shot and killed Patrick and make it clear his actions were unacceptable. Now, it is worth mentioning Michigan State Police is still conducting their investigation, and there is no timetable when that investigation will be complete. We're live in Grand Rapids this morning. Joshua Vincent, 13 on your side.